Hi folks, this is Ira bringing you another video in our series of measuring tool accessories. Today we're going to be talking about the caliper extender kit. This video is going to answer the age-old question of adding capacity in inches or millimeters to your measuring tool, specifically your caliper. So let's get right into it. Need a few more inches? These unique AMPG caliper extender attachment kits can extend the range of your 6-inch caliper up to 91 inches. All mounting hardware and calibration rods are finely crafted as well. The measuring pins are made of hardened stainless and demonstrate extreme craftsmanship in the manufacturing process. Additionally, you can count on AMPG products to be made in America. Complete instructions accompany these easy to use and intuitive tool kits. Included in the kit is a six inch calibration rod that allows me to calibrate the tool and in this case from the outside jaw. So six inches of movement on the caliper plus an extension of 30 inches gives me the ability to take a simple six inch caliper whether it's a dial caliper or a vernier caliper or a digital caliper and turn it into a tool that will measure from 0 to 36 inches. What I have done is reassembled the caliper extender kit and I have added on the clamp for the outside jaw. I have put the pin at the 5 inch mark and I've put the calibration standard in and I have put the second pin into the outside jaw which is the hole in the clamp closest to the caliper. So there's two holes in here, one here and one here and we'll get a little bit of a close-up later. As you can see on the six inch caliper we are at zero and that zero represents the fact that we have a calibration rod in here that we know is six inches but yet we're reading on the caliper and we're on the OD right now the outside dimension so if we were to take a dimension we would be measuring from here to here and anything within the travel would be a total of six inches now verifying that I have taken the second caliper, I'm going to kind of tilt it up so you can see it, and you will see that the ID jaws on this caliper verify what the OD jaws on the tool verify. So what I'm going to do now is put the pin in the ID jaw and I'll be back to you in just a second. What I have done now is I have changed the pin to the ID jaw on the outside of the movable jaw of the clamp of the caliper and I've used the same calibration rod to measure between the pins. Now remember the jaw furthest the pin furthest from center here, the one that's on the outside, is for ID. So, if you look at the measurement on our caliper now, it reads zero here. And if you look at this caliper here, which I'm going to turn around, you will see that the reading, I don't know if my camera person can get that reading in, is six inches five hundred thousandths. So what does that tell us? That simply says that 
Each pin is 250 thousandths in diameter, and when you're using the rod to calibrate the ID jaws, you have to add in, as a total size, the two pins, which equal a half inch. So the correct measurement would be, after you calibrate, six inches, 500 thousandths. Uh, Remington 308 that we're going to be using as a device to explain how the tool works on larger parts. It is unloaded, it is safety checked, and it, it, it will give us a good uh, visual as to how to use this part. What I've done now is I've put the pin for the OD at the 20 inch mark and it's right against the beginning of my receiver because I want to make certain that the receiver to the end of the barrel is within a certain specification for building this gun. So as you can see the pin is firmly against there so we're going to pan over slowly so we have it in a 20 inch mark and the pin on the movable jaw of the caliper is against the barrel at a tangent point. And the reading on the caliper is one inch, four, four, one. So our total reading from the beginning of the barrel, from the end of the barrel, to the beginning of the receiver is 21 inches 0.441 or 21 inches 441 thousandths. Now I'm going to demonstrate something similar with the ID. What I'm going to do now is measure the ID between two quick attachment points to QD slots in this REM 700 build. So I'm going to take the pin which is in at the 20 inch mark and put it into the QD on the left side of the rifle. I'm going to take my movable jaw with the other pin and I'm going to hold it in and close it against the against the other QD mark, QD holder. I'm going to lock the tool so that it does not move when I take it out. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you what the reading is. And the reading is on the movable jaw, one inch, 795 thou, plus 20 inches or 21 inches 795 thousandths of an inch. So in conclusion I'd like to make a couple of points. What you are looking at with the caliper extender is an heirloom tool. It is a tool that is very, very well made in the USA. It is not necessarily for everyday use, but when you find yourself requiring a larger measurement, you can certainly use this and feel very, very comfortable. The last thing that I'm going to go over with this particular last measurement that we made is I happen to know what the specification on this caliper is and it's plus or minus one thousandth of an inch. The specification on the caliper gauge extender is plus or minus three thousandths of an inch. So the degree of uncertainty is anywhere between zero and eight thousandths of an inch or plus or minus four thousandths of an inch. So at this point in time, 
it's a heck of a lot better than buying a caliper that would have been a 24 to 30 inch caliper which on its own would have had a 3 thou plus or minus 3 thou tolerance band on it which is not a heck of a lot further than what the total tolerance on the caliper and the caliper extender was but yet you can do so much more work with it once again they come in five different sizes and when you need one it, it there is nothing like it around for measuring center line distances between hole centers you can order a precision special end block conical point accessory kit as well the 620,000 diameter tapers down to a sharp point for center measurements. A specially adapted carbide scriber point accessory allows you to scribe and make markings with the caliper as well. By the way, throughout uh, this video and some others you have seen this beautiful uh, flag. And this was uh, presented to me by my very good friend Hernan, who is in charge of Workshop for Warriors. And what it says is that it's made by combat veterans in San Diego and presented to me. And I'm very, very proud to put this in every uh, video that I do. Made in America, folks. That's what it's all about. Once again, Ira signing off. Thank you very much for watching.